It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Chicago Bears and the Kansas City Chiefs, coming up next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. They begin the drive with Charles. And some space here. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing over, and it's Taylor on the out route that completes it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. On first down, Mahomes. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. He'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. On is the punter, Townsend, as he gets this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. 
A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. He'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Here's Peyton up the middle. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out, but I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. Fielded at about the 28. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. That's going to be caught downfield by Hill. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They run over center with Charles. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They go up the middle with Jamal Charles. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Here we go now on first and goal. Mahomes going to throw. And he's got it. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. 
That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice session. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. Nah, nah, nah. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Hester to return from his end zone. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little I bit jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> they will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. He'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards there and a first down. The tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Second and 11. To the sideline and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll look to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a that's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. A 
A first down carry here for Charles. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They go play action. Now Mahomes, pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? Still first down. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Following the penalty, here's Charles. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That's a gain of 11, would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. That was huge after being behind the chains on first down to make this second very manageable. Yeah, how much pride do you have in an offense on first down to get that kind of yardage? Because it actually opens up your playbook on second down. You can run it, you can throw it, you keep a defense off balance. I like that phrase, staying ahead of the chains, and they're doing exactly that. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 48 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing that. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. To throw, it's Mahomes. A dump off for Charles. And the Chiefs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. 
They run it. It's Charles. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. From the two now, second and goal. Now Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Chiefs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Now the try here for the point after. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Hester to return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll look to throw. Caught right side is Jeffrey. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Out of the gun now on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball three and it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big time spark somewhere but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is fielded at the 27. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Going underneath for Charles. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Meanwhile, the home throw caught by his receiver, Hill. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Go, 
They'll run from the gun with Charles. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. On the counter, it's Charles. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Mahomes now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 28. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Mahomes now on first down. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And again, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. Hester going to decide against a return, and they will spot this at the 25. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. Now, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit, and they get one here in the passing game. They'll look to throw here on first down, and the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Second and 10.
They'll set up a throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Back to throw again. And he's taken down. A chief sack. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. This is taken at the 23. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32, they had a 10-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first-half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now here's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Charles. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because... As an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he is caught. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Mahomes quickly complete out wide. So he stopped for no gain, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now is second and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He finds Taylor, complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. 
Now it's Mahomes again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. This is caught. And the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are able to widen their lead here in this first half. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Extra point right down the middle, and it is 28-0. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. Hester going to decide against a return, and they will spot this at the 25. Now the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging a little tapestry if you will oh i like it they'll break the huddle come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line they're going to look to throw and his throw is going to be incomplete i tell you brandon this defense is playing with some confidence haven't allowed a point yet flying to the football i'm telling you it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap another nice job there to force an incompletion these guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They'll look to throw again. And that one too wide and incomplete.
So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll come up now third and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've come upon halftime here in KC with the Chiefs on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Hester to return from his end zone, and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They'll try the right side here with Peyton. A limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Now that's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. That's taken on the 25. 
A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good, soft in spots. And there's an easy throw and catch for another first down. The throw over the middle taken in, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. This duo locked in, 14 yards there. And a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They'll hand it off. This is Charles. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They'll keep it on the ground with Charles again. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's third and ten. Now Mahomes. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And he missed it. It's no good. But that's just a minor blip here in what's been a thoroughly dominating performance. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The Chicago offense set to get started. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now this one over the middle, into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. That's to Marshall on a quick slam. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now a handoff inside. It's Peyton. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. 
An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bears get a bit closer. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 28-7 ball game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw, it's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. I had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mahomes going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. They go play fake. Mahomes, short throw, hauled in by Kelsey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and two. Mahomes now to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. They'll keep it on the ground. This time to Charles. There he goes, left side. Down to the 10. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. The Chiefs had six to their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. 
And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Nifty move. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 42 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They've kept him in check until that run. That's the first time he's really gotten loose in this game. And they have to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on the fact that he finally had a big run. You kind of are counting on that as the game went on. Get back to what you were doing before. Start limiting him again. Another run, this time for Tay. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll look to throw. Caught right side is Jeffrey. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard. That deficit probably a little too much to overcome. But completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. On the draw, here's Peyton. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They run again with Peyton. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's 
fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, on comes Robbie Gold in the field goal unit for the Bears. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good, and that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag? The white, you just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield, as he gears up to go again. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. On play action, it's Mahomes. A dump off for Charles. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's a second and five. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. He's going to find Taylor downfield. It's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one good for 26 and a first down. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That's to his running back, complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. 
Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got a man. That's Marshall. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Well, a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Back to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second and five. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Bears on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This will be third and five. They'll set up a throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 33. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Looking to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll look to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now third down and six to go. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. 
they haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. As they've done all day, they run with Charles. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 31, here's second down and eight. Again, it's Charles. That's a strong running. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now a 20th carry here for Jamal Charles. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 122 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Here's a give, left side. It's Charles. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That second down play nets a minus four. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They run over center with Charles. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he is caught. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Not often to fourth down conversions results in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Point after, right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead.
Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. Hester to return from his end zone. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window, he fired him. And the Chiefs are gonna get him. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack, just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. They'll drop to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. This pass is going to wind up incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. KC's offense ready to take over. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. They'll try to eat some clock now with Charles. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the 22, here's second and eight. They go up the middle with Jamal Charles. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Here is third down and four. And he will have a Chiefs first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. A gain of eight and a first down. heading into the tunnel as this one ends and understandably so not only did they get the win but boy their offense was on fire in this ball game and partner i have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars what's the top gear you can get into 
this offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Kansas City.